fourth year. How are you today? Well, today is Thursday, the 2nd of July. It's cloudy and cold. Bye bye, June. Hello, July. Yes. And next week is the last week of classes. Yes. Acordate de, te mandamos, sí, el, la tapa de tu cuadernillo. Acordate de conseguirlo en la librería fotocopiadora Oropel. Yo no salgo casi por un abogado. En el mismo lugar donde dejamos las short stories. Ahí tenés que ir a encargar tu cuadernillo. Decirle, por favor, bien, ¿sí? El curso y fíjate porque dejamos un dossier para que ustedes le muestren cuál es la tapa también. Por eso mandamos todas las tapas, pero con decirle bien el curso, fourth year, cuarto año de secundaria, ya está, seguía a los chicos para, no, que, para que no mmm, les fotocopien mal. Ok, so today we are going to uh, analyze the mistake from unit 7. I have uh, sent the correction to you. So you must open the file, see your mistakes, because every mistake is different according to the students, but the majority were um, well done, yes? Well solved, yes? So have a look at the mistakes, see if you understand, yes? Okay, any case, in any case, send me a message, yes? Okay, well, uh, I have written down some of the most important mistakes and I have put here, written here, revised grammar, page 168, class book or grammar charts, yes? Uh, then we are going, after the correction of mistakes, we are going to check, yes, we are going to go to video watch 7F for more ear training, yes, okay? You have a vocabulary, you will solve some exercises. One, two, three, four, and five only, all right? I will send you the two videos because you have 7F and 7F1, okay? Good. Uh, ask homework, you are going to describe, you are going to record a three minute, you know, uh, after the revision of each unit, each unit, you know, I send you the oral task, yes, revision. Record a three minutes video, describe a city that is attractive for tourists. Yes, it was in the, in the unit. Yes, we have already talked about that. We have already read uh, a text about that. Mass words or structures. Comparative, superlative, as, like, I'd rather. Comparative adverbs. Yes, okay, you have to use them. Okay. Talk about everything, but try to use them. Why I put this compulsory? Because I think you must use them compulsory in order, some of you, of course, okay, yeah, you always use comparative and superlative teachers, superlative, yes? But in some cases, I have to um, push you to use grammar, yes? Okay, if you don't use grammar and new grammar, your oral could be very poor, okay? Is it clear? So uh, this is uh, the grammar you have to introduce in your um, three minutes talking. Of course, you have to practice before recording the video, yes? Okay, the more you practice, the better it could be, yes? Okay, ahí usamos the more, the better, yes? Okay, um, well, <coughs> I will turn on the light because I, I turned it off because I was going to uh, give you the um, analyze, give the answers, okay? But enjoy the university, no, yes? Enjoy university, write to me soon, yes? I run as quickly as possible. Ojo de, eh, de agua ahí, eh? Okay? Este, y todos los que tuvieron Camila, creo que también, fíjense, cuando es, yes? Tenemos as quickly as possible. Tenemos un comparativo con un adverbio. Entonces siempre te enseñamos que los adverbios, ¿cómo corres? I run quickly. Tienen que estar al lado, modifican a un verbo, ¿está? Entonces, I run as quickly as possible. Creo que era en el tuyo, Tiago, que te puso un, un ejemplo ahí. Um, because you uh, wrote that um, the bus stay about the neighborhood, something about the neighborhood, and nowadays, as this bus stop is far away from our neighbor, private neighborhood, I have to run as quickly as possible to arrive on time. You could have written, for example, yes, okay? Ojo la I minúscula, Tiago, sí? 
con las I mayúsculas. Yo pienso que es un problema de por ahí el teclado donde están escribiendo que no están acostumbrados a cambiar de minúscula a mayúscula. Entonces, si van a tener este error, completalo todo con mayúscula y no hay problema. Otra cosa, Tiago, me parece que no encontraste donde algún, algún algo que te ayude a subrayar. Si no podés subrayar porque no encontrás ningún chul para subrayar, escribilo con letra más grande, ¿yes? ¿Ok? Con mayúscula, todo con mayúscula y agrandar la letra. Creo que Paula hizo así, ¿yes? ¿Ok? Si no tienen el highlighter o algo para circle, para redondear, ¿sí? Eh, háganlo con la letra más grande. Yo te subrayé, lo que está en azul, Tiago, no es que está mal, lo que está en azul eran las palabras, las más words que yo tenía que ir contando, y yo si no me perdía, que tenía que ir contando para, eh, te puse abajo, ¿eh? para eh, ir corrigiendo si es que faltaba alguna más word o structure, yes, ok, para que te guíes. Adored va a salir ahora, era en pasado, y ojo, ya me voy a ir a, a used to, well, acordate que well, Yes, good, yes, ok, es irregular, yes, ok, good, yes, better than, acuérdate que well estaba en la línea de, por eso lo puse acá, estaba en la línea de irregulares, sí, como good, sí, que pasa a better than, the best, yes, ok, the worst, yes, ok, ahí justo, no me pongan acá, sino que pongan un asterisco, ¿yes? Con las flechitas de well, porque es irregular, ¿yes? ¿Ok? Irregular, ¿yes? Como good, ¿yes? ¿Qué pasaba? Cuando teníamos, Camila, repasate los comparatives, ¿yes? Eso te está fallando. Eh, irregular, me pongo acá. Esto es un, un recordatorio, un reminder, ¿yes? ¿Ok? Better than... The best, el superlativo, the worst, el peor, y worse than. ¿Yes? Acá, está al revés. ¿Yes? Ok. Para que no se confundan, tenemos worse than, peor que, y después tenemos el superlativo acá y el comparativo acá. ¿Yes? Ok. The worst. Ok. Esto ya lo tenemos desde... Lo tenemos desde tercer grado, segundo año, tercer año, and this is fourth year. Así que, ojo, ojo, lo nuevo, acá no se agrega nuevo comparativo y superlativo. Lo nuevo que se agrega son los comparative adverbs. Tienen que tener eso en cuenta. Repasamos, repasamos, que está acá en la página, por ejemplo, used to, ya lo saben del año pasado, pero lo que se agrega, se van a ir agregando a partir de todos estos años, cuarto, quinto y sexto, se van a ir agregando cosas. En este caso teníamos used to, de los años pasados. I used to climb a, a mountain when I was younger. I used to play with dolls when I, when I was a little girl. I didn't used to play with dolls. Yes, okay. I used to play with marbles, okay. Entonces, cuando está el didn't, obviamente luego en infinitivo, porque viene arrastrando la gramática del past, ¿yes? Then, did you used to, ¿yes? Otra vez ese used to, sin ed, yes, I did, no, I didn't. Y lo nuevo que aparece es would. Entonces, esto les puse acá como a modo de machete. Y les puse en las pruebas también. ¿Yes? Pay attention here, because I put used to, te dice en la gramática de atrás, acuérdate que vos tenés los grammar charts subrayados y tenés la gramática de atrás. ¿Ok? Anda entrenándote para la facu porque at university you have to study alone, yes, ok? Highlight everything. Entonces esta, esta, esta técnica te va a servir siempre. Yes, ok. Tenés used to. Entonces, ¿cuándo vamos a usar used to? Cuando nombramos algo que solíamos hacer, eso ya sabemos, pero cuando aparece en un texto por primera vez. I used to play with dolls. I would play with marbles in the afternoon. I would uh, visit my friends and we would run in the street. Entonces ya cuando nomás por segunda vez, por tercera vez, y es algo repeated, ahí vas a usar el would. Yes, por eso te puse first time, second time. Y lo que se te agrega acá... Uh, 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 um, yes, about repeated actions, que te dice, bla, 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 bla. 
¿Yes? Y había otra parte que te la marqué para que, que la dije ese día cuando la di la clase. Ok. We don't use good to talk about states. Yes, ok. We used to own a really nice house. Ok. No, we would own. Yes, solíamos, es un state. Yes, ok. Entonces solíamos ser dueños de. Ahí no puede ir would, por ejemplo, ¿está? Yes, cuando es un state no vamos a usar would. Um, <coughs> bueno, esto queda claro. Um, there we have. Ahí está. Less. Tenés. More interesting than and less. Menos. Less interesting than. More beautiful than. Less beautiful than. Y Cami, una cosa. Acordate. Cuando es un adjetivo largo, vos vas a usar most, more. Para hacer un comparativo. My mother is more beautiful than my sister. Yes. Si es un adjetivo corto, short. My mother is shorter than my sister. Ahí tenés los dos comparativos. Después tenés superlative. Yes. My mother is the most beautiful in the house. The most, más el adjective. Y si es un adjetivo corto, vamos a seguir usando short para que no te pierdas. Yes. Is the shortest in the family. Lo que se agrega ahora es adjetivos, eh, adverbios con los comparativos. Entonces, hay gramática que te, vas, que te van a servir para, para repasar y hay gramática que la vas a tener que internalizar, la vas a tener que estudiar. Por ejemplo, adverb, comparative adverb. Yes, que es el que expliqué ahora recién. I run more quickly than, yes. She runs less uh, quickly than, Yes, ok. Entonces tenemos siempre, todo esto va a estar acompañado con un a, con un verbo. Yes, she ran more quickly than my sister. Yes, corría, she ran. O she runs, corre más rápido, ¿está? Y tenés los comparative patterns, que son estos que están acá. Eso es lo nuevo que se arregló. Ahora, se agregó. Si el alumno no está seguro con comparative y superlative, que ya lo viene dando desde tercer, third grade, second year, third year, se tiene que poner a repasar lo otro para agregarle esto. Pero eso cada uno tiene que ser consciente de hacerlo en su casa, ¿está? Y es, yo lo repasé también, pero voy repasando. Hago más hincapié en lo nuevo, ¿está? Y viene comparative pattern, Yes, The more you study, yes, ok, the better you will be. Yes? Is it clear? Y eso es lo que por ahí en algunos casos, el caso falló. Yes? Ok. Eh, uh, 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 que lo vamos a enfatizar ahora. Yes? Pero está en la página 85. Model houses are getting después. Uh, today it's getting colder and colder. These are comparative patterns. Yes? Se está volviendo más, más frío y más frío. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? ¿Is it clear? Y ahí tenés los ejemplos que están ahí. Y te dice, para más información, ¿qué vas a hacer? Irte a la página 168. ¿Yes? Tenés as, as. Teacher uh, Nicole is as tall as teacher Kevin. As, as. Teacher Nicole isn't. As tall as teacher Kevin. Ahí vos podés jugar, si quieres decir, es tan baja, tan alta como el otro. ¿Está? No, como Kevin. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Es, que es tan rápido como, no es tan rápido como tal cosa. ¿Ok? Y después tenemos los patterns. When it's getting colder and colder. It's getting, Formosa is getting, with the, with the global warming. ¿Yes? Formosa is getting hotter and hotter. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Um, well, the harder you work, the more success you have. Yes? Cuanto más trabajas, más exitoso sos. Ok? The, um, uh, 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 uh. the taller you are. Yes? Um, The faster, no, 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 the shorter you are, yes, ok, no, the taller, estaba por decirlo porque se me fue, the taller you are, yes, the faster you run, yes, the faster you run, the taller you run, yes, the taller you are, 
the faster you run, yes? Cuanto más alto sos, más rápido corres. ¿Por qué? Porque tenés piernas más largas, ¿ok? Y si tía, a eso se trata. Pero ya venimos arrastrando la gramática de saber formar bien los comparativos y los superlativos. Porque si no tenés en claro cuando es un adjetivo corto, cuando es un adjetivo largo, como lo haces, it could be a mixture, va a ser una ensalada, yes? ¿ok? Bueno, eso es con respecto a as, 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 comparative, superlative. Y después tenemos... As, like y as. Te tiene que quedar claro que as, yes, es el rol de. Por eso te puse acá. Yes, is it clear? As a teacher, yes, I must say that teacher should work more nowadays. Yes, okay. As a doctor, yes. I will give you painkillers. Yes? Entonces, en el rol de como doctora, como profesora. Yes? Is it clear? Por eso te pongo como rol de para que te guíes. Esto está todo en el libro, chicos, siempre. ¿eh? Lo que ya explicamos en la unidad. Por eso, mirate los videos de nuevo en las dudas que tengas. Like. I will visit many places like Santa Fe, Buenos Aires. Y vas nombrando. For example. Esta es el like. Como ejemplo. ¿Yes? Y después tenemos similar to. My sister is like my mother. They are both the same. ¿Is it clear? Como ella. Porque, pero es como, como igual en todas partes. No. As, a role. ¿Yes? Después tenés like. ¿Yes? Por example. Y similar to. She's like my mother. ¿Is it clear? Bueno. Um, shall we go to the test now? And then we are going to go to 7F. Yes? Is it clear? Good. Of course, I will play a bit of the, um, the video. We are going to talk about the video. And then you are going to do the activities at home. And I will leave you the answers. Yes? So you have to watch the video to practice ear training, to practice more vocabulary. And then listen to the answers. All right? Yes. There we are. So you have in the first part, yes, okay, you have the first part, harder and harder, yes, okay, faster, as exciting, yes, okay, uh, quieter, yes, okay, and then you have uh, more badly, teníamos ahí, no? Yes, okay. And then more and more expensive. Argentina is getting more and more expensive. Yes, number two. Well, the thicker, the longer, the noisier, the earlier you get up, yes, the better you sleep at night. Yes, for example. Yes, the more modern. And then we have 2D, 3F, 4A, 5E, 6B. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Number three. Yes, okay. Isn't as good as. Three. Worse. Okay. Traffic. The traffic. Traffic in this city is the worst. Worst. Yes. No, it's worse, perdón. Worse. Peor que. Yes, okay. Then as. Josie's flat is as small as. Yes, tan pequeño como el mío. Less quickly. Less quickly. Yes, okay. The population that. Part of the world is growing. Uh, that. And then you have less quickly. Yes, okay. Good. I don't want to clean the board because I have to give you the photo pizarra. Yes, that's why it's difficult for me to look, to see. Yes, to look at me. Yes, okay. Uh, used to be. Yes, okay. Would spend 
or used to spend, didn't used to have, used to love, would grow, used to grow, did you used to live, acuérdate que cuando está el did, el used va sin ed, would walk, used to walk, 2C, 3B, 4A, 5C, 6A, and 7B. Bien, y ahí era adored, chicos, ¿eh? Era una palabra, as a child, I adored. Esa era la que me, la mayoría se confundió en esta. ¿Por qué? Porque would adore no puede ser porque no es la segunda vez que se nombra, no es algo repetitivo. No nombró otras frases antes. Yes. Uh, used to está sin ed, así que es solamente past simple. Está para todos los que pusieron incorrect. There. Yes. Ok. Number two, as. Like. Three. Like. Four. Five like, six as, and seven like. Yes, okay. Is it clear? I love, I no sé qué dice. Okay, wait a minute. I like, uh, number two. Yes, and state as, and state agent. Otra vez en el rol de, lo que explicábamos antes. Es importante que vos ahora... Lea en casa y según lo que te volví a explicar, lo analices a ese rol. Yes, the neighborhood, the neighborhood is like a village. Yes, okay, similar to, vendría a ser. Five, we just uh, uh, paint the main, bla, 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 moms. Yes, okay, like the sitting room. Number six, us. This box could be useful as something to put. Yes, okay. And then you have number seven, like. Yes. Como algo para poner la televisión. Yes. Que cumpla ese rol, que cumpla esa función. Okay. Is it clear? And then like anywhere. Yes. It wasn't like anywhere. Yes, okay, is it clear? Well, so shall we move, yes, to the video now? Yes, okay, I want you to put the date on the two pages. Okay, well, it says uh, the town with no Wi-Fi. So what do you think you could do without Wi-Fi? Yes, do you think you could survive? Yes, so in this unit, I want you to talk at home, like answering, like chatting with me. What could you do without Wi-Fi? Do you think your life could be possible? Yes, okay. I says, you are going to watch a video about a town in the USA that has no Wi-Fi or mobile phones. What could you do? What could you, what could you be the main change in your life what could be the main change in your life if you didn't have wi-fi what we have talked about uh could it be good or bad well in my case i think because i i i am not used to using the phone uh, the cell phone just for emergencies and um, even sometimes uh when i go out for example the other day i went to the doctor and i didn't take the the cell phone with me yes and i need it then i realized that i need it i need it uh for i needed it for an emergency because i have to take some photos of them of my id some documents and i said oh my god i forgot the phone and the the um, the secretary couldn't believe yes because everybody nowadays take its phone yes okay her or his phone Yes, but it's like this. I am not used to using, yes, I am not addicted to phones, but I consider that in some cases, in emergency cases, it is useful. So I could live in this city, yes, okay? Because sometimes people who are addicted to a phone need to um, unplug, yes, themselves, yes, you know what unplug is? The century pass. Yes, uh, from that reality, yes, that virtual reality, if we could say that, yes, and um, live, yes, reality, yes, connect 
themselves to reading, to uh, family, to face to face, to a face to face chat. Yes, so I think I, I find more advantages than disadvantages if I, can, if I have to talk about cell phones. But nowadays, that uh, I am sending you everything through uh, um, a computer online, I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's very useful. I think I, get, I will get crazy if I don't have Wi-Fi connection because your classes couldn't arrive yes on time couldn't be able to arrive on time yes okay so i want you to talk at home and tell no teacher rule i don't agree with you because i think that uh cell phones are very important you are very old-fashioned because at your time you didn't have a phone yes at my time we didn't have a phone yeah if we wanted uh, to see some friends hello is it Fulanita at home, yes, so can I talk to her? We went to their houses and that was all. Yes, if, if you wanted to meet somewhat, someone, yes, you say, okay, at five, quarter to five, um, in the entrance of the cinema, we will see you there, okay? And you stay there, yes? And if, some, if you didn't arrive on time, okay, what happened? What, what could happen? What could have happened to this person? And you were very worried. So it has advantages and disadvantages, okay? Well, and number two, the speakers in the video use American English, and you will find many American words match the American English term with similar British English term. And you have cells, cellular phone, Congress, downtown, gasoline, store, and the British, city center, parliament, Yes, okay, mobile phone, petrol, and shop, okay? So you need to match the words there. Can you do it? Yes? All right, good. So cell phone, mobile phone, Congress, Parliament. Then you have downtown, downtown girl. Yes, there is a song there, city center. Gasoline, petrol, and store, shop. I went to the store, yes, okay, the shop. Yes, okay? And then we have uh, three, yes, okay, read the sentences. Then the words in bold are used in the video. Guess the meaning of the words, okay? Unique, telescope, signal, atmosphere, and cordless, yes, okay? House for the cordless phone, yes? Inalámbrico, muy bien, alguien dijo por ahí en casa. Okay, so you're going to match the, wor the words in bold in exercise 3A with these definitions, okay? Uh, do it, stop the video, and then listen to the answers, okay? 3C, 3C, yes, okay, signal, special and different from any other, okay? 2A, telescope, a piece of equipment that makes distant things seem closer, yes, okay? And 3B, 3B, signal, yes, well, that is a 3B, for, uh, you have four. D, 4D, uh, the air in a certain place of a, or area, and 5E, without cable, yes, okay? A wireless, yes, cordless, and yes, wireless, uh, cordless, yes, okay? Good, so we have 1C, 2A, 3B, 4D, and 5E. Yes, now you will have to watch the video and complete the sentences, all right? With the name of the people you see. Artie, Karen, Joyce, Joyce, and Michael. Read the sentences first, okay? And then in exercise five, you will have to do, yes, until five, because I only put until five, yes? You will have to um, discuss these questions. What does quiet song mean? Zoom, mean, yes? Um, so mean, and what does N, R, a o do in green bank okay and of course you have to highlight the words here and the words here too yes is it clear diesel engine wi-fi wi-fi modems cordless phone yes gasoline engine cellular phones automatic doors openers and digital cameras okay diesel Milky Way, the galaxy that contains our solar system, 
modern conveniences are the objects that make yes that make our life better for example a cell phone a camera a dishwasher yes okay uh obliterator yes obliterator yes completely destroy or remove an optical visual yes okay so let's have a look at the video what i like best about living in the quiet zone and it uh, kind of tells the whole story the quietness some people that come here they'll say i will send it to you it says uh living in a uh quiet zone yes what is a quiet zone is a zone yes without cell phones without signal yes is it clear no cell phone could you like to live in a quiet zone yes or no no i think no okay good and then you have n r a o uses a radio telescope in green bank for listening for signals from spain yes okay this is they use yes okay a radio telescope yes for listening for signals yes okay they uh what do you do well i'll just say i'm going right now you know i and i said just listen to nature all around you green bank west virginia is a very unique I find it ironic sometimes that you know we are working with technology here that's world class, it's world leading, but yet no one here has a cell phone. Okay, no one here has a cell phone. Yes, that's amazing. So a radio telescope works just like an optical telescope in that if you build it or have it in an area where there's a lot of radio noise, the signal you're trying to look for would be obliterated by that radio noise in the same way you can't see the Milky Way in downtown New York City. A cell phone on Mars would be the brightest radio object to us. You can see the Milky Way, yes, okay? The Milky Way, the galaxy that contains our solar system. In the sky. In order to protect the radio atmosphere in this area, Congress created the National Radio Quiet Zone, and that's an area that's 13,000 square miles. There's actually a long list of modern conveniences that we can't utilize here and that generally shouldn't be utilized in the community. Okay, there are certain things, yes, and that he mentioned, modern convenience, that we can't use, we can't use here, yes, okay? The door there, yes, okay, you will, he will name. Gasoline engines cause a problem. We only use diesels on the site. Wi-Fi modems, cordless telephones, no cell. cellular phones, no the cell phone. automatic door opener at the automatic local store, door opener. no digital cameras. Enjoy it because it's quiet, it's peaceful, it's beautiful. Uh, all these uh, electronic technician things that these kids are sitting pushing buttons on don't happen here. <laughs> the only way you can do that is at home. It would be very difficult to create a radio quiet zone these days because in order to create it, you would have to walk into an area and take things away from people. But living here, people have grown up without it and they've built their homes and they've built everything around the idea that they will be wired, they won't have wireless systems. Okay, so I will send it to you, but it's very interesting and it makes you think, what could you do without Wi-Fi connectivity, connection, yes, or the connectivity, yes? Think about it at home and um, then we could talk when you come back, okay? Well, um, I give you the answers, yes, okay? Remember to watch the video again and then uh, complete the answers, all right? Good, uh, number four, yes, Artie, Joyce Nelson is number one, four, one, two, Michael, and three, Karen. Number five, quiet zone, as I have already said, uh, it means no cell phones. N-R-A-O uses a radio telescope in Green Bank for listening for sign signals for from space. Yes, for signals from space. Yes, okay? And 
From that part, all the other exercises, I want you to highlight, yes, what we have already talked about, the, more, the, the convenience, automatic door, openers, okay, cordless phone, Wi-Fi mother, wi mother, modems, diesel engines, yes, okay, and that is all, yes, okay, um, well, uh, you have your homework, you have everything, and I wait for you next class. Bye bye. See you next class. Happy weekend. Don't forget to get the quadernitos, please. Okay?